C Sharp requires a lot of boilerplate code even for simple console applications. We need a namespace, a program class and even a static main method. How brilliant would it be if we could create a new file and start writing our code? Let's find out how top-level statements in c 9 solve this problem and why we should use them. Hi, I'm a software engineer with more than 10 years of experience with the .NET platform. If you want to improve as a software developer and learn about .NET development, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. C Sharp 9 introduces top level statements. Top level statements allow us to write C Sharp statements without explicitly creating a namespace, a class, and a static main method as an entry point to our program. Let's take a look at the default template of a console application. By the way, it doesn't matter what project type we use, every C Sharp project type has the same entry point. Somewhere in the project, there is always a static main method to be found. As we can see, we have a namespace definition, a class, a static void main method with a string array parameter and a lot of curly braces that define code blocks. Now let's see how we can refactor this code to use the top level statements c 9 provides. First, let's take the console.writeline statement and move it to the top of the file. Next, we remove everything else below the statement. If the program compiles, you should see the hello world output when running the application. If the program doesn't compile, make sure you are using .NET 5 and C Sharp 9. If you aren't sure or need to set up .NET 5 first, check out my video linked in the YouTube card. We can go a step further and remove the using statement on the program's first line and fully qualify the call to the right line method. Top level statements make C Sharp feel simpler and they help create short example programs to demonstrate language features. Also, it should be more comfortable for beginners to learn all the language features one by one. But how does all that happen behind the scenes? Top level statements are essentially a compiler feature. That means that even if we don't write the boilerplate code ourselves, the compiler does the work for us and we end up with the same old structure. Let's verify that by looking at what intermediate language code gets generated from a top-level statement definition. As we can see, the compiler generates a static class, a static void main method, including the args parameter defined as a string array. It puts a top-level statement into the body of the main method. The only thing that's missing from the generated code is the namespace definition. But namespaces are optional. Although the default project template creates a namespace for your program, and we're all used to work with namespaces, they are not required. That's why the compiler does not generate the namespace for our program in this case. Can we use command line arguments in programs that use top level statements? Yes, a convention allows us to access command line arguments even without having a static main method. Let's open the project settings and set the program argument in the debug tab. Don't forget to save the project file. Back in the program.cs file, we write another write line statement and output the first command line argument to the console. We start the program and we see the defined argument in the console output. When working with top level statements, we can define and use types. What's important is that the type definitions have to be placed below the top level statements. C Sharp allows us to have as many top level statements in our file that we like, but we need to make sure that all top level statements are placed above everything else. Let's create a person class with a name property and use it in our program. As we can see, the program compiles and the output in the console looks like what we expected. The only limitation I experienced while working with top-level statements is that you can only have top-level statements in a single file. It makes perfect sense because the compiler still needs to know where the program's entry point is. If we had two files containing top-level statements, the compiler wouldn't know which file contains the application's starting point. 
Top-level statements are a compiler feature introduced in C-Sharp 9. Top-level statements allow us to write short and concise C-Sharp programs. We can either use them to demonstrate specific language features or make it simple to get started with C-Sharp. Some people might argue that hiding the concepts of namespaces, classes and code blocks might not be the best strategy to learn C-Sharp. My personal opinion is that top-level statements give us more flexibility. Nobody forces us to use them, but if we have a use case where it makes sense to use them, we can do it. It is a small feature and it doesn't revolutionize how we write our C-Sharp programs, but it opens up new opportunities and adds another tool to our toolbox. After learning about top-level statements, we aren't surprised if we see code like this in the wild. Let me know in the comments below what your opinion on top-level statements is and if you will use them in your projects or not. Don't forget to like the video so that other developers can learn about top-level statements too and subscribe to learn more about .NET development. See you in the next.